Welcome to the Oregon Championship Tournament Awards and Closing Ceremony for First Tech Challenge and Power Play, presented by Raytheon Technologies. Ortop, the Oregon Robotics Tournament and Outreach Program, welcomes you. I'm Jay, the Program Manager at Ortop. And I'm Aisha, the Community Outreach Coordinator. Along with other Ortop staff, we will be your MCs today. We didn't think we would be presenting a remote ceremony again and certainly didn't expect it for the championship. Let's hope that we don't need to do this again, but as long as we're here, let's get started. As you've experienced, FIRST is a community of global citizens. We are more than an organization. We're a family, a movement, and a culture for participants, volunteers, and supporters. Programs like FIRST Tech Challenge are essential for creating a brighter future. This generation of scientists and innovators and the next are the key to changing the world. We must show up by believing in each other while preparing our students with the skills that set them up for success. Let's celebrate all our incredible teams, coaches, mentors, and volunteers, and the outstanding season we've had. Our season was in person and a great few months of community building, so we know that a remote championship was not the ending we imagined. We'd like to once again commend the vast amount of gracious professionalism it takes to not only accept the change, but to still want to participate in the tournament. Thank you for all your last minute work, both physically and mentally, to make this tournament happen. We also want to take a moment to recognize the teams who did not participate in the remote tournament. We appreciate and see all the hard work you've done this season. We understand the many reasons teams chose not to participate, and we recognize it also takes a great deal of gracious professionalism to make that decision as a team. Thank you for choosing the route that was best for you, and we're excited to see you all again next season. Before we hand out our awards, we'd like to give a shout out to all of the awesome people who made this event happen. Today could not have been possible without our volunteers. We would like to give a huge thanks to our judges who came together to help make this remote tournament possible. Judges, we are so grateful for your flexibility and dedication towards making sure that every team had an opportunity to present. Another big thank you to the volunteers who offered to help with the remote tournament. Our amazing volunteer community came together to help us make last minute changes. We had so many volunteers invest their time and energy into events throughout the season. Please join us in taking a moment to recognize these volunteers who have given their time, effort, dedication, and so much more to our entire season and this championship tournament. If you know any of them personally, please thank them when you get the chance. And another big round of applause for our generous sponsors, our 2022-2023 First Energize Season Sponsor Qualcomm, and our First Tech Challenge 2022-2023 Power Play Sponsor Raytheon Technologies. Thank you. Oregon teams benefit from the generous support of Autodesk, First Tech Federal Credit Union, The Collins Foundation, MJ Murdoch Charitable Trust, Meyer Memorial Trust, Marie Lamb from Charitable Foundation, Slalom, AWS Elemental, Tektronics, Lamb Research, Garmin, and many more. Before we hand out the awards, let's introduce our special guest, Angeles Godinez Valencia. Angeles is an alumni of FIRST and is now Director of Education with Centro Cultural of Washington County. She is currently co-chair of the ORTOP Board of Directors. After participating in FIRST, she earned a bachelor's degree in computer science and physics and a minor in math. She is a longtime FLL coach, and this was her rookie season as an FTC coach. Hi, ORTOP and FIRST family. I want to thank you all for your patience and understanding as we navigated this transition. You know, as an ORTOP board member, FTC alumni, and a coach to an FTC rookie team, I completely understand the devastation of not being able to be together in person. But honestly, the gracious professionalism that we have witnessed in these past few weeks only continues to highlight why I love working alongside you all. I really see the importance of FTC and our abilities to create and work in a safe place where we can explore our creativity while learning valuable real world skills. You know, you all spent months designing, building, coding, troubleshooting, and I'm sure it's been a roller coaster of emotions, but I hope you are all so proud of everything that you've all accomplished this season because I am truly so proud of every single one of you. And to all our coaches and mentors, I really want to give you a big thank you for all your hard work and dedication. You're really helping create the next generation of leaders and 
most of you have a full-time job and yet you still set time aside you know to work with our students and this is something that we'll never be able to pay, repay you enough so honestly thank you so much and i want to thank everybody and a big congratulations once again for all your accomplishments you all are amazing Let's give a round of applause to this season's judges, referees, scorekeepers, and FTAs for all of their expertise, dedication, and hard work. We would especially like to thank the championship judges, who quickly shifted to remote judging and met multiple times last week to determine awards. Their work was very hard because there were so many amazing teams. The Judges' Choice Award is given at the discretion of the judges to a team they have encountered whose unique efforts, performance, or dynamics merit recognition, yet the team does not fit into any of the existing award categories. Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this year's award. This year's Judges' Choice Award goes to a team who has helped genuinely change the first environment to make it safe and inclusive for all teams. The Make a Difference Award goes to Team 7604 DWAI Don't Worry About It from Lincoln High School in Portland. The Compass Award recognizes an adult coach or mentor who provided an outstanding guidance and support for a first tech challenge team throughout the year. The winner of the Compass Award is determined from candidates nominated by student team members via a 40 to 60 second video highlighting how their mentor has helped them become an outstanding team and has truly demonstrated what it means to be a gracious professional. Here is what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. The winner of the Compass Award was selected because of their overall dedication to their team, to FIRST, and to their direct community. This person not only cares deeply about their team, they care about every team participating and will step in and help if any team is struggling. Ultimately, they live and breathe the values of gracious professionalism. This year's Compass Award goes to a mentor from Team 8610, Tober Tech. Congratulations to Hans. The Promote Award is given to the team that is most successful in creating a compelling message for the public and working to change our culture and celebrate science, technology, engineering, and math. The video submission was evaluated by the judges to determine the winner of this award. Teams must present a thoughtful and high-quality video which best exhibits this year's topic of how I learned about FIRST. Here's what the judges have to say about the winner of this award. The team that won this year's Promote video was not only creative with their overall concept, they also put together an engaging, high-quality video that had unexpected visuals and collective language. The video included elements from this season's gameplay and could easily be used to promote FIRST in our community. It's also obvious they had fun with the concept and theme. These snails and one duck really know how to promote first. The Promote Award is presented to Team 14126 Fibonacci from Springfield, Oregon. Hello, I'm your host, Phoebe, and welcome to Nachi News. Today, we will be interviewing the awesome snails of the Fibonacci village to find out how exactly this friendly group of snails found themselves on a team together. So, how did you guys get introduced to first? We saw it on the news. We grew up in it. We were introduced by a friend. Our siblings took us to a meeting. And we had a blast. We, we saw, saw it on social media. media. I heard about it from school. Finally, we found out how this friendly group of snails came to be, and how they have come to go through hands-on learning and inspiring other students to grow in steam, responsibility, teamwork, and leadership. Racist professionalism! The Design Award expands on this year's challenge, inspiring teams to incorporate industrial design into their robots. These elements can be shown in the simplicity of the design as it applies to the tasks, the look and feel of the robot, and how the design allows us to think of robots in new ways. The design aspect must serve a function, but also differentiate the robot in a unique fashion. Today we recognize two teams for the Design Award. The first runner up for the Design Award is Team 187, Phoenix from Benson High School in Portland. The winner of the design award is Team 11703, 
Tacos and Cool Hats from Banks High School in Bank. Next, we have the Motivate Award. The team that receives the Motivate Award celebrates the culture of FIRST and clearly shows what it means to be a team. This award celebrates the team that represents the essence of the FIRST Tech Challenge competition through team building, team spirit, and displayed enthusiasm. This is a team who makes a collective effort to make FIRST known throughout their school and community and sparks others to embrace the culture of FIRST. Today, we recognize two teams for the Motivate Award. The first runner-up for the Motivate Award is Team 5627 Robotics Quasar Alliance from Redmond Proficiency Academy in Redmond. The winner of the Motivate Award is Team 18108 High Voltage from Portland. The Control Award, sponsored by Arm Inc., celebrates the team that demonstrates innovative thinking in the control system to solve game challenges such as autonomous operation, enhancing mechanical systems with intelligent control, or using sensors to achieve better results on the field. Second runner-up for the Control Award sponsored by Arm Inc. goes to Team 15342 Aries from Roseburg High School in Roseburg. The first runner-up for the Control Award sponsored by Arm Inc. is Team 17520 Protocol 3 from 4H in Oakland. The Control Award sponsored by Arm Inc. is presented to Team 8610 Tobertech from Lake Oswego. The Innovate Award sponsored by Raytheon Technology celebrates a team that has the ingenuity and inventiveness to make their designs come to life. This award is given to the team that the judges feel has the most innovative and creative robot design solution to the first tech challenge game. Elements of this award include elegant design, robustness, and out-of-the-box thinking. This award may address the design of the whole robot or some sub-assembly component of the robot. The creative component needs to work consistently, but a robot does not have to work all of the time during matches to be considered for this award. The team's engineering portfolio showed the design of the components and the team's robot and clearly explains how the team arrived at their solution. The second runner-up for the Innovate Award, sponsored by Raytheon Technologies, goes to Team 11703, Tacos and Cool Hats from Banks High School in Banks. The first runner-up for the Innovate Award, sponsored by Raytheon Technologies, is Team 12110, Say What, from 4H in Corvallis. The Innovate Award, sponsored by Raytheon Technologies, is presented to Team 13727, Juntos Unidos from Hillsboro High School in Hillsboro. The Connect Award is presented to the team that the judges feel most connected to their local science, technology, engineering, and math community. A true FIRST team is more than the sum of its parts and recognizes that engaging their local STEM community plays an essential part in their success. The recipient of this award is recognized for helping the community understand FIRST, the FIRST Tech Challenge, and the team itself. In addition, this team aggressively seeks and recruits engineers and explores the opportunities available in the world of engineering, science, and technology. The second runner-up for the Connect Award goes to Team 8610, Tobertech from Lake Oswego. The first runner-up for the Connect Award is Team 750, Gears in Motion, from Tigard High School in Tigard. The Connect Award is presented to Team 14126, Fibonacci from Springfield. The THINK Award is given to the team that the judges feel best reflects the journey of the engineering design process. The engineering portfolio is the key reference for judges to help them identify the most deserving team. This team's engineering portfolio focused on the design and build stages of the team's robot and exemplified their journey as a team and engineers. The second runner-up for the THINK Award goes to Team 12721 Apollo from Thurston High School in Springfield. The first runner-up for the THINK Award is Team 18108 High Voltage from Portland. The THINK Award is presented to Team 12808 Revamped Robotics from Portland. We will now recognize the highest ranking teams in robot performance. This is different from in-person events where we recognize the winning and finalist alliances. Our fourth highest ranking team, 14126, Fibonacci from Springfield. Our third highest ranking team is Team 12808, Revamped Robotics from Portland. 
Our second highest ranking team, 8610, Tober Tech from Lake Oswego. And finally, our highest ranking team, Team 12599, Overcharged from Portland. First Dean's List finalists are outstanding student leaders whose passion for embodying first ideals is exemplary. These students were nominated by their teams for their direct contributions and impact on others, exemplifying leadership and commitment on their first Tech Challenge team in their school and in their community. First Dean's List finalists recognized here today will represent Oregon at the World Championship as our four Dean's List finalists. Here's what the reviewers have to say about our Dean's List finalists. We start with a Dean's List finalist from Team 7604, Don't Worry About It. Congratulations to Alexandra. When Alexandra sees a problem, she doesn't wait for someone else to solve it. She steps in and gets to work. Through volunteering as a translator at events, collecting demographic data, and hosting diversity and inclusion trainings, Alexandra is truly an advocate for all students in STEM. Congratulations, Alexandra. Next, we'd like to recognize our Dean's List finalist from Team 8610, Tober Tech. Congratulations to Aiden. Aiden proves that FIRST is truly more than just a robot by using his outgoing personality and strong communication skills to connect with his community. He puts his teammates first by looking out for rookie members, organizing team bonding activities, and even participating on his robotics board to advocate for his team. Congratulations, Aiden. We have a Dean's List finalist from Team 12599 Overcharged. Congratulations to Fiona. Fiona reflects the values of FIRST by going out of her way to support her community. By advocating for young women in STEM, as well as low-income students, Fiona works to ensure that future students have fair access to STEM education. Congratulations, Fiona. The final Dean's List finalist is from Team 15342, Aries. Congratulations to Elias. Elias goes above and beyond to make connections not only in his local community, but in the FIRST community as a whole. By using social media platforms, Elias established connections with teams in Oregon and beyond to share his technical knowledge. Congratulations, Elias. The Inspire Award is presented to the team that the judges felt truly embodied the challenge of the FIRST Tech Challenge program. The team that receives this award is a strong ambassador for FIRST programs and works to promote FIRST and make it loud in their community. The team that receives this award has performed well in all the judging categories and was chosen by the judges as a model first tech challenge team both on and off the playing field. This team shares their experiences, enthusiasm, and knowledge with other teams, sponsors, their community, and the judges. Working as a unit, this team will have shown success in performing the task of designing and building a robot. The second runner-up for Inspired Award is Team 12808, Revamped Robotics from Portland. The first runner-up for Inspire Award is Team 16433, Quasar from St. Mary's School in Medford. The winner of the Inspire Award is Team 12599, Overcharged from Portland. Thank you all for being a great group of students, coaches, mentors, and volunteers, for bringing your gracious professionalism to the tournament, and for supporting and being the next generation of innovators and STEM leaders. And thank you to everyone for making this an excellent competition, celebration, and first tech challenge season.